Welcome to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. We've got open-air baseball for you on the show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. Ladies and gentlemen, your Miami Marlins. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Eric Stevens. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. And first offering is fouled off. Holiday at second with two down. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 2 now. Not a swing you want to watch again. And keep swinging that hot piece. Let's go, let's go. Man at second. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Great effort on the leaping grab. Brian De La Cruz, the next the up for the Marlins. Warrior. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. And that one lifted in the air, center field. One down. At the plate for now Pittsburgh, that, Eric Stevens. Eric. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. And that one fouled off. Rudder at first with no outs here. And that one in the air center field. Chisholm brings it in. One away. Up next for Pittsburgh. The first baseman, Bobby. So two down. Here's the center fielder, Eric the Stevens. The center this guy fielder. with light tower Eric power. Stevens. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Hard hit left side. Fires over to Chrome. And that is that. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Pirates two and the Marlins nothing. And here now is C.J. Crone. C.J. Crone can hit a ball a long way. In 2022, he had a 504-foot home run that was one foot shy of the longest home run. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And gone. Power versus power right there. Like two. And now the center fielder, Eric Stevens. And things could change quickly here with one swing. Swung on, belted. That's got a chance. And just like the ex-girlfriend who ain't coming back, that one is gone. He sends one out the opposite way. His 22nd homer of the year, it's 6-6. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. Well, 
Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be. Avisail Garcia up to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. And that one is lifted in the air. Stevens on the move to the gap. Makes a nice running catch. Two down. His defense two. is better than a lot of people yeah. think. He's a big two guy. Down. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Here's O'Neill Cruz. In the air, out towards left center. Stevens pulls it down, and there are two away. Up next for the Marlins, the first baseman. Back here in Miami, here's the center fielder, Eric Stevens. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And a pitch. Back to the mound. One away in the top half of the tenth. Up next to the party. So runner at second, two down. Here's the third baseman, Connor Stark. One for three. And here it comes. On a line. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for Miami. Score remains tied. Six apiece. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Now it's going to be Eric Stevens. He's already homered in this game. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. That smash towards center. Chisholm puts it away. Runner tagging for third. Not in time. He's safe. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, now but that, sometimes you hit it too hard season. and right at Bobby. someone. You're looking for one of those. And the final here today, 9-8. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.